Jim Edwards here, MMALatestNews.com, and it's the MMA Latest Daily, where we take your questions that you send to us using the hashtag MMALatest, and we answer them every single day, Monday to Friday. Now, guys, the questions are really good today, so I'm just going to dive straight into them. And the first one comes from Alan Hutchinson6. Do you think Tom Breeze and Darren Till will shake up the welterweight division? Uh, yes, I think, I think they've got huge potential to. So we had two very different performances from them on Saturday. Darren Till, epic war with Nicholas Darby, 50 Gs for fight of the night. He showed heart that he could hold on towards the end. He looked one shot from being finished, but he also showed real early dominance straight on. And, you know, I think the draw myself, I, I had it as a draw. I think it was a good result. Book Nicholas Dolby, Darren Till, UFC, London in February. Why not? Tom Breeze, again, very different reasons. Really looks like a massively potential guy. Ma a guy with massive, massive load of potential. 50 Gs for his performance of the night. That could, it was a brutal TKO victory over Cajol Pendred. He's a six th foot three monster, and I, I want to see more of him. But yeah, definitely, both guys have got massive potential. I want to see more of them, and they can definitely, definitely play a big part of 170 later on in their careers. Um, so at Geneva, why didn't you mention Neil Siri in your uh, favourite moments of UFC Dublin yesterday? Uh, because Jen, I'm an idiot. Um, it was it was not only a great performance by Neil on Saturday, but it was it was a fantastic entrance. Obviously, here seeing him throughout the week, interacting with fans, taking their pictures, actually giving them time, and actually not just taking a picture, but actually talking to them and asking them, you know, where where are you from? What's your name? Um, and actually, just giving them giving them more time than uh, uh, you know some of the, some of the other fighters did. So that was really nice to see. Neil's obviously a super nice guy, but he's also you know he's hard as nails in the cage as well. And it, it was a great performance. Poor, poor Reyes though, what an assignment that is. He's got to go fight Neil Siri in his own backyard. Um, that 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 young guy will be back. He's only six months into his UFC career, and it was a mega hard assignment. So. Um, Hats off to Neil Siri. It was a great performance. Neil, this one's dedicated to you today. So the last question comes in from at Spurs Fan Club. Do you think the conduct fight is one too many for Robbie Lawler? No way. I am not betting against Robbie Lawler. Not again. I'm not. I'm not going to be an idiot again. That it would be the third time in a row that I bet against Robbie Lawler, and it, I'll probably be the third time wrong as well. I bet against him in, against him in the Hendricks title fight for, uh, rematch, and I also bet against him in the Rory rematch, and I looked an idiot both times. One thing I will say about this Condit Lawler fight is it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait for it. UFC 195, January 2nd. It's gonna. I, 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 it sickens me. I can't be there, but um, I, I just can't this year. But it's it's gonna be it's gonna be great. What a great title fight you have! Let's pray to God like they stay healthy. Don't uh, the fight doesn't fall out again like it did at UFC 193. I'm I'm gonna go Robbie, um, but not with any great deal of confidence, and just because I don't want to look at an idiot being wrong three times in a row. Anyway, guys, that's all the questions today. We've got the Sam uh, Sam Alvey Pound for Pound podcast coming out later on. Make sure you hit the site, download that. It's on Spreaker and iTunes. You will see me tomorrow. Send me your questions. SYF.